Ooh, Storm Storm Spirit. Heroes. So that's kind of scary for Liquid. They don't have very good disable. Um, only core that really does is Tiny. So the supports in Tiny to lock Which down. They certainly need to. I mean, as you can see with the Thunder Strike and the Missile, each and every time it's going to keep Miracle under half health on this very low HP Terra Blade. Missile such a. Oh, they will actually go here. Fenrir steps a little too far forward. That's, dead. that's your first blood there. Gotta be careful on Vici Gaming. So much damage coming. Absolutely. Coddle and meta. Already level 2. That lane ward really helping the Razor constantly. Every time Ori steps up, he knows he can off. Razor is just such a lane dominator. And here comes mid lane. Ori. A lot of trouble. Kuro setting up for Matsu to pick up the kill. They will TP in. They're looking for the turnaround. Matsu being brought very low, and they do find it. Kuro is actually going to go down as well. So Vici Gaming are able to avenge the Storm's death and get two kills out of him. He's on his own, though, in the low Sort of tying around with going back, and he does have Lanham Fusing. close by. He's waiting to use adult, trying to get a big burst Yeah, off. here we go, Miracle. He's in a lot of trouble here. He has got the right click on the Metamorphosis 11. Has to be careful as the Sprout is actually not going to save him. Is Miracle not going to die here? Oh, He's the... not going to die here. They turn around. Kuro's there to back him up. The ulti didn't bounce. There was too many creeps showing on the map. It actually didn't bounce back to hit, oh, I mean, to Lanham, hit the Terrible Blade. Lanham was lucky to get out of that one, but... We said, as we said, there's not really the greatest of disabled. And on our VG games, there will be the chance for the Sunder almost certainly. And well, Kuro. Kuro in a lot of trouble. Let's get found out here. 11 TPs in as well to join the fun. G Gaming get the kill. Top lane, mind control. He's being backed up by GH. The back rounds there from Matsuma Man. Ready to chase down Paparazzi. They do manage to catch him with the blast. Because they find one in GH. Hunting for Fenrir. He knows he's here. Fenrir will go for the TP out and we'll make it. Cancel it. Didn't quite get it there. That nah, looked like it should. It was right on the edge, that one. But still, nonetheless, a massive stack for the taking. Whichever side manages to take control. And you Trying can... to push mind control if they've got the glimpse. They have, straight into the combo. Cooldown's there as well. He'll go for the toss back, but mind control. Being surrounded, he's trying to fight back. Does bring some Avicii gaming low, but he loses his life. Kuro as well in trouble as they'll zip forward. Take down the Rubik, and now we're two down. Can they clear this stack? Paparazzi is a little low. He doesn't want to have that thing where he just fall off. He wants to be able to deal with this Terraboid throughout later stages. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dagger finish. Let's see if he doesn't die here. And they're looking for him straight in with the Nature's Wrap. Or he zips forward, they surround the Tiny. And they'll take him down, knocking him back a couple of hundred gold from that build. Same time though, move is made mid, but Kuroki still with that ball lightning, closing the gap, chasing down Paparazzi. They'll get the kill on Jaro. Ball lightning, just getting them two core kills just now, and forcing that Naga sleep defense pop. So Kuroki with some huge plays. He's got four staff already, and he's got a component of that Aghanim. He's actually ahead of my control and close to the up. Trying to go back and join the team, but he actually walks into 11. GH, oh, bit of a blunder there. He just walks straight back into it. So he yep. will lose his life towards the mid. They do put the Metamorphosis. They're able to get the Naga Siren. Fenrir with a glimpse back on Matsuma Man. Will keep himself safe. 11 tries to come in, but the sentry is down. Miracle, but with the Sunder, 11 still alive for now. They've got the cooldown. Miracle, he's actually going to get popped hit by Paparazzi and Ori. This is a two for two at the moment. Paparazzi trying to chase down more. Matsuma Man is there still with the Eye of the Storm, Ori. Running out of mana, so we'll have to back off. For a courier snipe. Has got the Manta recipe on. So it would be oh. quite a crucial pickoff. And, and he he's got it. That is going to be the Manta put aside for a few minutes. He didn't buy the old DR. It was just the recipe. Oh, sure. Kuro with the zip across. Uh, he's trying to make 11 pay for this. They have the dust. They blast 11 back. Rapran's there for Miracle. He's got the slow from the reflection. So 11. May have put that Manta recipe on the sidelines for a few minutes, but he pays with his life. Kuro continuing to make plays with the... Maybe hoping to find Terrorblade or someone on their own in the jungle of Liquid, but as we, that's not the case. Yeah, they're trying to catch this... Trying to catch this bottle who just keeps waves in. Here we go. So they could find 
Yeah. They are, he's right there, GH. How are they gonna open in on this one? They've got their eyes onto the Keeper of the Light. Haste on Ori, he's gonna zip himself up, grab the Keeper of the Light, drag him down. Paparazzi posts the cooldown. They'll turn for the easy kill. There's the Keeper of the Light. Mind Control now found as well in the tree line, but Ori, he's up. With old 11, wants to get these Bloodstone charges. He's picked up a second as 11 has the double kill. Lanham singing the song, trying to get them out of there. 11 goes for the Sprout, goes for the TP out. They don't have the vision, 11 will escape. They did lose Paparazzi, but a two for one overall. Ori gonna be happy with the affair as he does pick up, of course, two more Bloodstone charges. Tossed him back in to keep the link on. Lived with 20 HP and then the ain't got aggroed. Oh, the, just the dream for Vici Gaming. Yep. Nothing of value was lost. Just the jar off the map for a bit of time, but they'll absolutely take that. They didn't get a big core though, and they expended sleep. Now top though, Matu, BKB's on cooldown. Ori's Ori. got a lot of mana. He has. Has he got enough? It... Ooh, he's... Oh, yeah, with a glimpse. Perfectly done from Fenrir. Straight back into the static storm. That's another Bloodstone charge. It is going the right way for Ori. And as we said, the Bloodstone first build, something that's fallen out of favor with a lot of pros, but Ori... Ah, so they know that something's going on around the pit and almost certainly in it in terms of what Vici Gaming can suspect. Sleep is up in five They're, seconds. That could be perfect. If they head over there now... It's daytime though and there is the Axe Coddle. That 24 minutes. Let's see timing. how they can do it. Mind Control as well. It's coming out on the side, but they've got a Sentry down. They know that they're in there. Can Lanham go for the play? He has to make the call and go in with the song soon. Roshan falling very low. They're going to go for the zip four. Trying to go for the back line as Ori goes in immediately. There's the song. And there's... No, they got the kill, but Miracle still picks up the ages. BKP's popped by the Terror Blade as Miracle starts to force them back. Gets tossed forward by Mind Control. He's looking for Lanham. There'll be the Glimpse Pack taking Miracle away. But oh, he Manta dodges it. He's going to still try and continue to chase, but Vici Gaming a little too speedy. So, overall... Call down, Bloodstone Charge for Ori. Do they have the damage to kill him? They do. Perfect control, perfect hold. So they do manage to knock some of the Bloodstone Charges out of the storm. Eleven's been doing such an excellent. Constantly pushing side lanes. Yeah, this Nexus Prophet's been in. But that's for sure. Keeping up in all gaming. the fights. They're smoking up. They are smoking to a double damage Terror Blade. This could be a little risky. They'll go for the song. They want to find the Coddle. GH is smoked in the sidelines they to avoid this. They are just going to drop the Static Storm here onto River. This is a little bit awkward by Vici Gaming as they look to Kuroki. They do find him. Miracle pops the BKB before the homing missile redirects upon himself. Now, chasing Lanham. down Lanham. Lanham will get knocked back. Nice play there for GH as he forces himself in to get the blast back. So, a, a one for one try. I mean, that that's not the play Vici Gaming were looking for there. No. That seemed a bit of a panic play, really, popping the Static Storm down onto the Ruby. In a miracle. They're trying at least. Still. Maybe coming back to that point, the panel said the lack of damage from the storm. Eleven is split pushing though at the same time. Oh. He's gonna trade. Oh shoot, he is. He's going for the round. He's getting it. As it seems. Miracle. We'll have Fenrir toss back into his hands. Or he comes back in with the silence. Miracle kind of low, but he mantas. Sunders says GH, that's my life. Thank you very much. He's back up. And Matuma Man and Kuro were forced to come back and hold the defense. So Eleven gets in, gets out, pressures Paparazzi's them back. Paparazzi's in deep. So he got top. No, he just actually ran in with the BKB. He got tossed back. Lanham, maybe seeing if he can find anything, and they'll go straight away on top of this Keep of the Light, or he's popped the BKB in order to help finish oh. up the kill, and he will find it. Eleven's there as well with the wraparound sprout onto Matuma Man. Eleven just right-clicking them these guys down. He turns towards Mind Control, gets the tiny. Matuma Man, sure, he's managing to get a big static link, but he's dead. Eleven there with the wraparound coming in with the right-clicks. Cutting off the advance of Liquid, Beachy Gaming fine free. Miracle and Kuroki will escape, but as we see, Eleven is just doing so much lifting here that the yeah. split push pressure and as his participation in the fight, Paparazzi, Paparazzi though, he just walked up blindly into the high ground and just gets absolutely destroyed. On him walking in now too. Miracle still has BKB available for himself. Honestly, I think Eleven's like, come on lads, just calm down, stop the feed, I'm going to carry it. <laughs> I think they might have got a taste for that as well. When when Eleven came in on that last engagement down bottom, they're like, hang on. When he's actually in the fights, they can actually just take the fights because of how farmed he is. Sleep comes out. Catches Miracle. It's, it's a little still early. pretty high HP. They found GH though. Uh, pop the cooldown. Or he pops the BKB. Looking to go straight in onto GH, but GH did get the Ghost Scepter off. He's stolen keeping him alive for a bit. Indeed, the stolen sleep. Holding back the rest of VG Gaming. Ori desperately trying to find GH. Can he get the kill he can? Will get the coral, but now the turnaround comes in. BKB and Metamorphosis popped by Miracle. He'll find the Disruptor. 
So as it stands, a one for one, but with the metamorphosis, he goes back into the pit. Ori still playing around it. He's got a bit of mana left, could go for the steal. If he times it right, but Miracle, looking for the kills outside of the pit, finds Lanham, Lanham will fall. Buyback's actually gonna come out from the Naga Siren, even though he doesn't have the song. Here we go, Ori, starting play right. Oh, he gets the Mind kill, but again, one. Mind Control is able to pick up the Aegis. Ori has to sort of get out of there. Eleven has turned up, offering some hefty right click, but not quite the same amount of right click that Miracle does. Has to Shadow Blade, back himself away. Mind Control will take a missile. Eleven, is he gonna be tempted to go for that kill? No, he's playing got, it safe. He's Mind getting Control out of there. got paparazzi there, though, with that bleed forward. If you just make it so that he sort of has to effectively fight through GH twice with that cheese, certainly the Storm has to make a decision. Does he really want to go for GH? Because it's going to cost him so much of his mana that he is going to be in an incredibly vulnerable position after he gets the kill, even if he does. My control is to stand. He is. He does have the Aegis, of course. But uh, yeah, playing very aggressively. That will be the Aegis gone. Maybe Vichy Gaming can just choose to disengage after that. The Glimpse Pack will be on the Timberman, but he pops the BKB, stands his ground against Fenrir. The rest of VG looking to get out. If they can get everyone else out of there, this is not too bad of a play. Sure, they lose a Disruptor, but they do at least take an Aegis away from that inevitable push. And look at Eleven. He's just got that zero cooldown on Teleport. Just going bottom, going top, going back and forth everywhere. Looking for Matu now. And Matu is careful. The mid lane. Trying to do the best to stop Miracle. Miracle gets the Sunder off to Lanham. Back to full health. Lanham not really in the place that he wanted to there. Just gave Miracle a, a free full HP. Miracle has Rapier in quick fight, by the way. Uh, mind, mind control. control. 11. 11. He gets the racks. That's his job done. Oh, he didn't mind dying. He's just got the melee racks. He's got buyback of his needed. Mid lane, Ori. Zipping in straight away with the pull. There's going to be a buyback on 11. Wanting to get involved in this fight. BKB on Ori. Final bits of mana used to get out of there. They've got the song as well from Lana. Bots 11. Says hello. Sells his items. Buys the Rapier. Oh, boy. He's going in, ladies and gentlemen. Miracle. They should be able Terra to spot this, Rapier. but they're looking to end the game right now. They are. They, if they go down a lane, the speed that these towers are going to fall is going to be quite something. Beachy Gaming. This is this is what we call the, the GG oh Rapier. They just, they just want to close this game they out. Do. They're sick of 11. They are done. They are done with this Nature's Profit rat. They want to end it. So we've seen they've got the means to keep a Miracle alive. They're just going straight for the Tier 4s. There's Liquid. No how do they stop this, Ori? Zips in, finds the grab onto Miracle. There's a missile going his way as well, but he does still have the BKB. Miracle, quick sunder. Thank you again, Lanham. Gets He's him back the... up to full HP. They're just pushing on. Paparazzi pops the BKB, but look at this damage from Miracle. Paparazzi forced back. The song comes out, but Miracle's already BKB. Lanham, you're just walking in to die. Miracle gets the kill on the Naga Siren. The Aegis is exposed. The Aegis and is that dead. Rapier purchase. One of the smartest Rapier purchases I've seen in a while. It just ends the game. Miracle knows exactly what to do. He does it, and they get the win. They didn't want this to go later. They just wanted to close it out. That's... I, I think Jug is just very, very counter-vulnerable right now. He does have a lot of counters in there. Okay, so they'll, they'll, uh, they'll the do the next, counter. which isn't quite the same thing, but yep. yeah, it works against the Batrider. They actually, uh, they were going for a dive, they get the net on Miracle, and he instantly tier TPs to his tier 2 to protect himself. They're looking again for him, though. Got the wraparound, Miracle. Is he going to get any sort of help? He does have a TP coming in from this Disruptor. Miracle pops the Fairy Fire, trying to keep himself alive, keeping the distance, gets the rockets out, but he'll still fall. First blood for Lanham. GH comes across, though. The Storm is going to get both of them. Kuro still alive. GH looking for the punches on Tori. They get the kinetic field off, so they may have lost Miracle, but they will claim both the lives of Vici Gaming in response. I mean, as we said, you know, getting that XP that they did from the mid, GH now with, what, two points in the Echo Stomp very early on at level three on this Elder Titan, it's a, it's a good amount of impact this you can have. This is hasted DP rotation coming out already this early on. I, I think Mark Jones will be a good... Bit sort of confused by that one. Not every day you expect the Death Prophet to appear in your lane at four and a half minutes, but it works out. They get the kill. Kuro's going to be there, though. He's going to look to try and punish this. Has the Kinetic Field down. GH Amaton, but walking across. Lanham's still there, trying to help out Ori. But Ori's surrounded. The rotation from Matumba Man helping them bring down the Death Prophet. Now Matumba will look towards Lanham. Trying to chase this down. you got the TP across. Kuro trying his best to close the gap. He TP'd just, from like right next to there I mean, just, <laughs> He just, just wants to get the glimpse. Exactly, these little moves to, to close in on the range of Lanham and they will have him trapped in the field. But he's going to TP. And he's, just, he's out of there. 
top bottom, you'll get farm up, and they're gonna leave the chapter. Here, he ported up top. Not gonna take him too. Top runs at six now, though. He's got Omni Slash. He's threatening Matu top as well. While bottom is going on at the same time. And he's gonna have the kill. Paparazzi gets the kill and power down bottom. Mind control will fall as well. Mid lane already getting gone up by GH. Miracle and Kuro, they'll burst down the DP. But overall, I mean, Vici Gaming taking down both cores from the side lanes. So he is indeed back down bottom of Tumba Man. Mind control will be sent back up top. He wanted to stay there just until his TP came back up, but yeah, level yeah. six Jug versus Gyro. We see this, we see this a bunch of times, especially with like Gyro versus Jug is got kill threat on, on the gyro a lot. As soon as Matuma Man's in, they try and make an advance. Lanham's there as well with the root, but TP comes in from Kuro. He's trying to help out his gyro, but gyro has been surrounded underneath the tower with the rocket barrage bringing in 11 and Lanham down very low, but he'll be the one to fall. Now they're turning attention towards Kuroki. GH with the stomp, catches three, takes down one, looks towards 11. They should be able to punch down the bat. Uh, yeah, was looking for the vision and there we go. Bam, double kill for GH. Man, and it's all kicking off on top lane. Paparazzi is able to dive in again and get a solo kill onto Mind Control. These side lanes are getting incredibly chaotic. <laughs> Quick with the spike carapace. You can see Paparazzi still hovering around. He's looking for any sort of opportunity to get more out of this. A bottom lane. Getting that other look towards one another. Mid lane now. They've got the wraparound. They've got the net. They put the ghost straight away on top of Miracle. They'll find the Tinker. GH will cancel his TP. Now with the exorcism out, they can put some pressure onto the tier one tower. Such fast movements by Vici this game. Look Just pressuring every single core. Wherever they see the supports on the side of Liquid, they make moves on the opposing side to force reactions. GH will spot out Lan M for a moment here. My control though, top. Again, just getting chased down by that Blade yeah. Fury. I mean, he's lucky the mana wasn't there. Paparazzi would have gone in for the kill with the Omni Slash back towards mid. They do get the control, dragging this Bane back into the sleep stop. He'll go for the TP out, but he will not make it. GH now in a mega kill streak as he takes down another. Back over towards the jungle. Matuma Man swept across from bottom. Has his eyes on Lanham. Homing missile comes in. They'll chase down the Naga Siren. They'll get the kill. Nine for eight. Top lane Paparazzi. He's got the chase down with the Blade Fury. Doesn't again have mana for the Omni Slash. If he gets a few crits, he might have a chance at this. One more would do it. Oh, no, maybe two more. I lied. Oh, indeed, though. Vendetta up just in time. Mind control if. will be fine. And they're not looking to stop. They're not looking to slow down at all. Eleven's close to that blink dagger on Bat Rider ready, and they're looking to go punish Matu. Spot out Fenrir though. Emre, Nightmare quick onto GH, Lanham's there with a wraparound, root down onto the Gyrocopter, Eleven trying to lead in, Kuro focusing Fenrir, the homing missile connects, the stomp will be dodged as Lanham and Eleven hold themselves between the Spirit and the Elder Titan, they've got the lasso on the bat, they'll drag back GH, GH being protected though by the kinetic field, can Lanham and Eleven still get the punches through? They can, but Fenrir will lose his life deep beneath the towers, but Tumaman chases him, he this back from Kuro, but Kuro, he's ticking down here to the Firefly, they're chasing in, three stacks of sticky napalm on Kuro, Kuro will go down as well, to the final touch and up top lane paparazzi jumps in with the omni slash is not enough damage but this bottom lane again kill after kill gh he's trying to see if he can find something in response throws out the uh, the spirit but won't be able to connect the stomp i'm just looking at the levels on the supports mostly it's Kuroki is six so he's somehow a big winner out of all of this pretty yeah. sure he, i think he actually got the tome during that situation oh, miracle's got to be careful they're coming in with a wraparound once again. Brain snaps to start things off. They have to root down Exorcism back up. That's another death for the Tinker mid. Mind control them to my man and GH. They're looking for Paparazzi up top. This is a hard kill. It really is. I mean, any sort of spook and uh, he's, he's just spooked out of there. They're looking for something. They're hunting for Paparazzi. They could get him if they find him with an instant static storm. Paparazzi has got the death profit. By his side though. And, and exorcisms under up underneath the shrine. Do they really want to go for this? Kuro comes forward. They do get the two-man stun. Two-man static song. Can they get the shrine up? The sleep. They can get the shrine off in time. Is it enough to keep Paparazzi alive? And Ori it is. Ori's got the siphons. Now they're looking to turn. Femur from the high ground with a fiend script onto GH. They'll chase down the outer tie in the nightmare, helping Paparazzi close the gap. GH trying to go for the stop. It will manage to send both of them to sleep on the side. Mind control and Matumba looking to finish off Ori. Have they got enough damage? They have. Earth Splitter finishes off the Death Prophet. So Liquid will at least get one of the big kills. Kuro's going to pay off his life though. As Eleven and Lanham are there with the wraparound, holding him down in place. The kinetic field buys a little time, but he'll still fall. Brain sap from Fenrir to finish off the job. But Liquid, they do get some big moves out of that. Being next to the Shrine. If that Shrine wasn't there, they're both dead, yeah, for sure. Absolutely.
And you can tell Liquid, they're feeling they're feeling the pressure. They're going already for greed mode. Matu has queued up a Mask of Madness, but speaking of Matu, he's getting lassoed up already. Let's see what they can do here. Moving in straight away with the chase down. Matsuma Man's gone. Wow, so look at that. The, highest of all. Is the highest of all. Since, what was that? Since TI what? TI5, didn't it say? Mm. Once yeah. you start falling behind in a couple levels, you can't stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Jug. Same thing with Gyrocopter. The Gyro was like level 4 when Jug hit 6, so he just dove him. Bottom lane. Sleep. They're looking for Miracle. They are. He's speedy. He's just on the tip of the song and keeps himself hidden in the trees. Is he going to be okay at the same time? Mid lane, mind control. They have found Paparazzi. They get that big kill. The money going to Matsuma Man, the man who needs it the most as well. So they are able to at least catch and kill him. Which isn't bad. They are farmed. It's just the problem that Paparazzi is such a step ahead of them. And they always have, they always have decent catch for the for the Tinker with the Bat Rider, as long as they'll have the initial vision of him. Heading forward, but Sleep. oh, that song is coming and they've got eyes on them all. They're gonna look for probably the three-man silence from Ari, and it will get a couple of them. Mind Control got the Vendetta up at the Sentry again, it's down. They're ready to move in with that Omni Slash. Now chasing down for more, the Blade Fury from Paparazzi being used to focus down Kuroki on the Disruptor. He gets a couple of crits and Disruptor will fall. Beanscrit comes out to Matuma Man, but Fenrir will die for this. Won't be able to continue to hold down the Gyro, but the Lasso's there from 11. Moving forward, Paparazzi, he's found Miracle. They take down three of Liquid, only losing the Bane themselves. About a quarter length of it. They're going to go in the Rush Pit. The Healing Ward is in about 15 and with that Riptide minus armor. I mean, either but way, incredibly Liquid. flashy plays. Maybe they can contest this. They've They're going ET. to try. Lanham backs out. They'll avoid the Stomp. They get back in, but the, the, the Exorcism's now worn off. Spike Carapace comes out, they get the glints back onto Lanham. Lanham gets cut down. This could be a bit of a mess here for VG Gaming. They get the healing ward out. The Death Prophet being focused, trying to keep herself alive with the Siphon. They turn towards Matuma Man. They'll find Matuma Man. He's going to be taken out. 11 Fenrir and Paparazzi still in good fighting shape. Now they'll move towards GH. GH chased down by Ori and Paparazzi. That's a second one down here around the, T the Roshan fight for Liquid. Mind Control and Kuro trying to get away. They'll have to back out of this and respect VG Gaming. Let VG Gaming take the Roshan, so an attempt there from Liquid to stop this, but it falls apart very quickly, despite the Ghost not being there for Ori. Vici Gaming, they just have such an advantage that they're able to man-fight Liquid down. With that in mind, maybe they have a chance of finding a pickup. They head down towards bottom where Ori is at the moment. He's gonna try to maybe Carapace on one of the Crypt Worms to try to catch him. He has a BKB, so it's a very hard, it's hard catch. Though, and there's good wall coverage for Liquid here, so if this smoke dispels, they'll know. Kuro will now be revealed. Ori sees it, but it is a little too late. They get the immediate jump in onto the Death Prophet. Everything thrown down, but it does the job. They get that kill. The sleep is out from Lanham. But this is a fight that they probably don't want to take. Without the Death Prophet, they'll back away. But Liquid there, getting the courage to come out of the base and getting a significant pick off. Looking for 11 here. Got a BKB. Be okay. Paparazzi just blinks in. He does. He wants to commit straight away with the Omni Slash. He's cutting them down low. We'll be able to find the kill onto Kuroki. And just immediately goes for the TP out. A quick jump in and pick. Benra didn't really need to join the party there, but he decided to, and it will actually cost him his life. I think uh, Paparazzi should have maybe given him the heads up and said, look, I got this on my own, but Benra wanted to try and help a bro at least. That's who. They're still claiming more and more gold advantage though, because trapped in their base. They have to run as a unit if they want to make it. Fenrir will cut them off here. He's hasted. The Nightmare out onto the ET. Matuma Man's here as well. He's in a bit of an awkward position. They're all coming in. They have the sleep. Miracle is there just outside of the range of the sleep. Throwing in rockets. It's around Matuma. will get the BKB off, but that BKB actually is going to keep him alive a little bit. No. Physical damage yeah, is too much. Miracle. They are. They're going to get GH as well. This is going to be Liquid losing three. Miracle will buy back. But honestly, Beachy Gaming, this match, have looked absolutely incredible. The heroes they have, the setup, the team fight, it really does look impossible for Liquid to climb this one back. Yep. 20k gold lead, yeah. 25k experience lead, and they're just continuing this map control. Roche now spawns. Pro will scout them out. Get the stun. Do it is onto the jug. They've got the static storm down as well. Glimmer Cape buying some time here for Paparazzi. They've got the cooldown. Defensive Nightmare helping him dodge the first instance of it. And now he'll back up with the Blade Fury. Was thinking about going back in on it. 
Is all down for 10 more seconds. Good stun though. Kuro actually able to get the glimpse back onto Paparazzi. Has he got the damage to kill him? With mind control they there, they have. They found Paparazzi. BKB's out for Morin 11. Paparazzi actually buying back for this engagement around the pit. As VG try and move forward, they will find GH. Jump forward with the Omni Slash onto Matuma Man. Cuts the gyro out of it. They've got the route down onto this Nyx Assassin. Kuro in trouble as well. Mind Control going for the TP out will make it, but Kuro will not be as fortunate as Liquid lose three. The buyback from Paparazzi paying off as VG Gaming take the team fight and now have the control they need to get that Roshan. 730 GPM. His itemization is great. Not having feeling confident enough to not go for that BKB because they're at such an advantage. See how long he tanks up. Sure, he ends up dying inevitably, but that's because Liquid, they were... Still, that branching problem does rely. 36 minutes, they have got a massive lead, but they are yet to take a Tier 3 tower. 11 stalking. He is, and he's found the jump, but the Spike Carapace did come out in time from Mind Control. Still, they'll get the Lasso drag back. Mind Control keeps himself alive, but the Ghost Scepter will actually get out of there. BKB popped by 11, but the Earth split it down between the two of them. Will force Vici Gaming to hold off. That's a BKB and a Lasso, and he doesn't get the pick that they're after now. They turn towards Kuro. Kuro getting rooted up. They'll move in with Paparazzi. He has the Blade Fury surrounding this Disruptor. Will take down Kuro. He blinks out as well at the Static Storm with the Magic Community taking no damage at all. Paparazzi, now the Song. They're relatively grouped up. Do they want to try for the play here? They have this the Hammer coming down. Will stun onto two of them. The Omni Slash comes in as well with those extra bounces. Bouncing all the way up and down the lineup. Liquid, they'll lose Miracle for 90 seconds. Paparazzi just diving in. Chase Facing GH, GH will fall. Now the buybacks come out. Buyback from GH, buyback from Atuma Man. They'll force out the fortification, VG Gaming, but they're standing their ground. Ori with the ghosts out, looking for this tier three tower. The storm comes through. Mind Control moves in with a vendetta. Will get the kill onto Fenrir. But now Matuma Man rooted up a second time. They can't afford to lose this gyro twice. VG Gaming, they're standing their ground, going for this melee rack. They should have it. The storm being attempted by GH, but Paparazzi, he's not messing around. Blade Furies commits to the buildings. They'll clean up the top set of racks and now they'll jump forward. They've found Matuma Man. Matuma Man will fall for the second time. Gone for 90 seconds. The Yule set of allowing them to surround GH. GH, he's in trouble. He'll go down. Another kill for Vici Gaming. As Liquid, they're trying to stay in this game. But with three heroes on the sidelines and Vici Gaming moving from racks to racks, it looks like it should be over, Fog. Yep. There's no buyback on the Tinker still for about GG. a minute. He spent his gold as well, and yeah, GG's called. Matu just got... Matu got way so punished in this game. Liquid had no way to bring him back. That with the was. Tinker, with their Gyrocopter getting shutting, shut down early, with uh, Vichy being prepared with sentries all the time, there was no real playmaker for Liquid to actually do anything on the map. Draft is done. Uh, boys. I'd put reputation on. Oh, please start with Blitz. Alan, oh. I'm not going to start with you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Blitz, I'm not going to start with you either. Kevin, okay. take it away. M Paparazzi has to make a choice now, though, because now there's two waves. So he has to pull and meet it, but he's going to miss a couple last tier. Let's see how many misses. <laughs> he's going to miss a couple. Oh, oh I like that. And the now, they've, play. now they've solidified the tri lane top. Line M gets caught by the tri lane. He should be dead here. All right, first blood for Miracle. First blood! Gyro Rubik plus one. It's always going to be pretty potent. It's, it's still a triple range creep wave, though. So he's going to move in and he should be able to get okay. some experience. We just have to up again on him. The chase down. lanham has got the backup of 11. Lanham will be fine. The bottom lane, as we can see, Minecraft does get himself involved. Gets a bit of it, but he is... He's falling low. I think he's dead. Paparazzi. Oh, oh a little a, bit of a mess up there, but still works out. They take the Nightmare off. And they will get themselves the kill. Money in the bank for Paparazzi. Fenrir is playing this lane absolutely perfectly. Still doing it. He's still been doing it. Excellent. 18-5. 13 and 4 of the Pugna. It's Miracle. 13 CS at the moment. Broki coming in once again. Need to punish. Members of VG on this top lane trying to... Get a miracle involved, it's a positive action. The chase down is there onto Fenrir. Nice nightmare dodge there off the homing missile, but it won't save his life. Miracle comes in with the chase down. With that rocket barrage, gets the kill, but VG, they're gonna find kills in response. They get themselves the double kill for Lanham. Miracle, does have to be careful there as well. Will be fine. But... Hard came nice. And this isn't a so lane up. where Paparazzi is gonna suddenly start getting solo kill. 
Yeah, he's not he's not some jug spin with Omni. Mid. Leading him with the Dragon Tail. They have the stomp as well, but the Timber Man's got backup. GH and Kuroki looking towards Ori. They pop down the blast to Crepify, bringing him down low. Nightmare there from Fenrir to buy some time for Ori to react. And Ori is going to be kept alive. Lanham just diving under the tower, looking for Matuma Man. Matuma Man gets punched down. And then they'll also get GH by this with a brief fire comes in. Ori trying to find it, does get the kill. Kuro reveals himself to punch into Ori. Fenrir at the moment tanking the tower. They'll turn with the brain sap, and oh. VG will find all three kills from the middle lane. Fenrir is. Fenrir's a beast today. He's just this he's feeling play. himself. That sleep turns the whole fight around. Problem is though, it's a level eight OD versus yes, a level five it's, gyrocopter. It's not a safe lane for Mirror. It no. really isn't. He needs help down here if he's wishing to sort of stand toe to toe with this OD. Middle, Kuro looking for the wraparound on Fenrir. You've got GH trying to chase down. Quick stomp out from Lana. Won't connect, but does put them off chasing for more. Fenrir with a nightmare holds back one. Or he's coming in to join the fight, but they've got the numbers this time. Liquid, they have Miracle and Mind Control moving in. They're looking towards Ori. Ori backing up. Paparazzi will TP across here. He's going to start building up the inn. He does have the sanities if it's needed. Pops it down. Will allow them to kill off Matumba Man. Ori underneath the tower finds the stun onto Kuroki. Vici Gaming getting two out of this. The turnaround is there. And maybe see if they can get this Underlord as well, Fenrir. We'll look for the body blocks, but can't quite find it. But Paparazzi still is chasing this down, closing the gap. Missile will be there onto Fenrir though, and they don't have the control to hold back the Underlord. So Mind Control now, he'll look to turn. Paparazzi coming back in, thinking about helping, but with the three heroes there, he'll accept Fenrir's fate for him and backs off, leaves it alone. But still, Overall, Vici Gaming coming out on top. They're three cores at the top of it all. Ori getting lot at, lots out of this. We're seeing countless times this Dragon Knight getting involved in the action. And they just can't kill him at the moment. Like, yeah, and the whole time too, it was nine heroes mid. Eleven just sat top and he yeah. got the Blink Dagger. And down bottom. bottom. They get the stomp. They Miracle got the gets kill. Bursted. And they're going to get more out of this as well. Paparazzi gets a double. They've got to do something about this OD. The quick sleep there from the Bane to make sure that Paparazzi doesn't die to Matuma Man. Paparazzi keeps his distance, but he will get cut down by Mind Control. Lanham goes for the stomp. But they did get the big kill there, Liquid. Crepify, one more blast, they'll find out the time as well, Mind Control will survive, GH trying to look for the wrap brownie, has got telekinesis but can't quite get it off onto Fenrir. Paparazzi did get the double kill though before they were able to bring him out. And now Bat has the blink dagger finished. 11, massive, and Mind Control TP's into Shrine but he's low, he's actually just gonna have to rift away. He should, should make it there, oh I say that, it's a long time with the first level. Close. But he will make it out. But the same situation as last time is happening. The gyrocopter is shut down. They're looking for 11 here. Got the blink. He distanced himself. No, look Ori, at this. Paparazzi and Ori just moving in. They look towards Miracle. They've got the, the uh, Astral. That will be enough burst damage to finish him off. So they'll get Miracle. Again, as you say, this gyro is struggling. GH as well. He's got six stacks of napalm on him. He's going to try for the Deny to the Ancients. It's not going to happen. 11 gets more money in the bank. Ichi Gaming. They are absolutely steamrolling Liquid and pull the slide forward. Paparazzi with that straight four-star pickup. Allowing him to get in and play close and personal with the members of Liquid. They do get the pit of Malice down onto two. But VG keep their distance. Now, VG do have to be careful. The DK does get absolutely melted there Bale. by the drain. Fail plus decrep. At this point now, he is able to actually turn and get some kills here, but Vici's making incredibly good rotation again this game. Matching every single time that Liquid brings three or four heroes, they bring four heroes as well. Eleven. Nine. The four staff from Paparazzi there. Help you bring Mind Control in. They're looking to build up the Inter. He does have the Sanity's Eclipse Paparazzi, so if he sees a chance, he'll pop it, and he does. Straight down allows them to get the kill on Mind Control. Lanham with these punches. Look at him just chase down Matuma Man. They get the Flame Brain knockback. Jump four from 11. Matuma Man will fall as well. Fiendscript's there from Femre. They'll find three out of this, Fiji Gaming. Kuro will be able to pick off 11, but look at this. The setup into the Earth Spread. A miracle held down. He's trying to turn Bane with the Nightmare by some time for Lanham. Now they look towards Kuro. The dust is out. Kuro has to get out of there. They're very low on VG, but they will survive this. But look, he just placed down five wards on the side of, uh... Be able to watch those rotations look coming out, because they're they getting outnumbered. Down here, look at this wraparound from GH and Matuma Man. They want to get in on this bat, but he has the bling. He's going to get rooted quick bling, though, before any sort of damage. And these four heroes, they're not going to be able to get at him. And now, VG can look to turn 11. 
We're going to find that crucial vision. Looks towards Mind Control, but Mind Control does get the Rift off. But there's the Banish and the Drag. Look at that. They're separating Matuma Man from Mind Control. And that will allow them to get the Matuma Man kill. Very tight play there between the OD and, and the back. In the back line, Spenrir and Ori were able to get him, find him with and the GH. Strip. And now GH under the gun. He's trying to run. He's trying to hide. He is in trouble as well. The Nightmare comes through again. That should be the kill there from Paparazzi. 11 does drop though, that's a track kill. It's a crew right now as well. Paparazzi starting to build that in up. They do have to be careful. Sanity's Eclipse back online in 12 seconds. There is very little to do through that magic immunity. They're all rushing it too. Dragonite yeah. as well has it queued up. That item, that Shadow Blade. Just finished at such an early time. For see this replay again here when they go for the OD. You can see in the back lines too on the mini-map, you see Fenrir as well as uh, Ori are on a boarding mission and yeah. they find Miracle. And now bottom, Straight Miracle back in. gets He's been found by the out again. Blade. That's going to be Jara down for 31 spawn VG. They're looking to chase for more. Himatuma Man getting focused. The quick Astral there to stop him from being able to drain down Ori, meaning that Ori will survive. Matuma Man will fall. And it really just seemed like Liquid at this point. They're getting desperate. They will get the Courier. Will knock down sort of the drums from the other time. But Levin is chasing. There's the Sanity's Kuro will fall. And Liquid, they're, they're falling apart. Folks. They're just out fighting them. Yeah. Non-stop. Another kill. 23 to 10. 15 minutes. There's not many teams in the world that can say they killed Liquid 23 times in 15 minutes. He already is already 9-1-6. and six, And he's now got the BKB. So... The, oh the part where Pugna can have a good time versus OD is now gone. Because we sort of they're saw going again. We yeah. Let's see if they can get someone with this smoke. Ori on the front lines. We'll get open upon. Can Lanham do anything to save him? No. Not this time. That's the that's the kill that they need. They blow everything with the veil. They have got this intense amount of magical burst. Instantly jets a D ward on the bounty hunter on Kuroki trying to find a spot. For a, and now they're smoked. They're looking for a fight. For Lanham. Lanham. Gonna meet them here. The opening first, Kuroki leading in, but there's the jump straight away. Look who is on top of Miracle. Have they got the damage to follow through? They've got the Dragonite straight on top of him. That's Miracle gone out of the fight. Mind Control says we gotta get out of it, but on the side, the sentry play, of course, from Fenrir. He's got the vision on Kuro. They'll get the double kill for Fenrir. And they've tanked up. Paparazzi even takes the health talent too, because he knows. All he needs to do is survive in the fights and get his BKB off, and he yeah. can turn it around. Being stalked here. This is a good pick off here for Liquid. Crash. That's he continuing to grab those bounties. Push yeah. him closer and closer to the Hurricane Pike. They have Scan and Kuro's gonna head up into this. The sentry had just despawned too. I He is, he's got teammates relatively close to him, Paparazzi. Kuro will reveal himself, Lanham and Iori. They're going to head straight away that way. There's the Astral. They're looking for the setup, but the Root will mess up the stop. No, one. They still get it. The stop into the two-man sanities. They'll take Kuro. They surround Mind Control as well. And that little follow of the OD results in Liquid just giving away two more kills to Paparazzi. They're not going to be aware of this going on at all. The wall coverage from Liquid is very good around the pit, despite all the odds against them. So they can go for that, get it safely. There's the Aegis on Miracle. Blink Dagger now picked up. Mid lane. EG. The smoke. R2. Bugner this game. Know that they're here too. They're gonna be coming in from the low ground, so. Maybe Last a little tricky, but not unless they get the sort of grab straight away. They'll jump in onto the Jaro. They've got the follow up as Ori pops the BKB, commits straight away onto Miracle. They'll pop that Aegis, turning towards Matuma Man, falls forward as they'll chase with the Odeo. Drop the Sanity's Eclipse is not enough to kill off Matuma Man, but they'll still finish him nonetheless. The Rod of Atos comes through from Lanham, holding Matuma Man in place. Benrir as well, holding Kuro down with the Fiend's Grip. Quick blink dodge of the Shuriken by 11 means that nobody falls on VG as they take the Aegis out of Miracle's hands and get two kills alongside it as well. Instant smoke by Liquid. They've got the BKB now in Miracle. Try to take advantage of it's some a bit of a risk of position. One. Mate, if they get the Bane alone, that should be an easy quick pick off, and indeed it is. They also Memory. have they have Lasso stolen on GH. Okay. Could be an option they can isolate somebody. 
not looking to slow down at all though. They're playing aggressive, they're taking over the enemy jungle. Heart will be the next choice for Ori. Tough to bring down. Okay. Side. Ori. And they've got the setup straight away. GH was moving in, hoping for some sort of grab to turn the fight. But VG just reacts straight away. They take that Rubik, and they're going to look for more. Miracle pops the BKB. They did get the Fiends grip up in time. They will be able to cancel it with the Yule Scepter onto Fenrir. But still, Mind Control, he's the one that they'll turn their focus towards. VG. They'll be able to surely find this Underlord as well. There's one more touch from Paparazzi will do it. The Astral's there as well to make sure Matuma Man can't finish off the kill. It's a double kill for Paparazzi. There's four dead on Liquid. He Miracle's gonna go down as well. Triple kill. I mean, this game, 14k lead, 35 to 14. Gets to still sanity. Yeah, can be nice for the mana aspect of it, but he is in. Yeah, it's decent, but I mean, any sort of huge nuke. EMA, what mental attitude it's doing it here for the pros. It's all about that puzzle. Quick, what can they do? 11. Get spotted. Oh, they will have the telekinesis straight away, but there's the defensive astral coming out from Paparazzi. The Fiend script from Fenrir holding back Miracle during this PKP usage. They'll still jump in with the back, getting the grab off. That's going to be the Matumba Man Pugna falling. BG just pulling. Liquid apart one more time here as they lose Kuro. Yori's trying to jump into the base to chase down Liquid. Liquid will keep the distance. There's just no way for them to kill these targets with these defensive Astrals as well. Everybody on VG just playing perfect. 16, Absolutely. 1, and 9 on this ode. Look at and that. And GG's cool. It. It's it's an unwinnable game now for Liquid. GG is cool. And VG Gaming, ladies and gentlemen, taking this series 2 to 1. And this. Oh, this just feels very exciting, Fog, because we, we knew, obviously, everyone knows Liquid is this incredible lineup. Yep. But Vici Gaming has just turned up on day one of the CSL1 LAN.